Sage, how are you all doing? This is your DJ ma'am. Once again, I welcome you to my class. Let us start with a new topic. In the last video, we discussed about landslide, the causes, effect of landslide and the mitigation techniques to control landslide. Today in this video, we will try to understand soil as a resource, how the soil is formed, the layers of soil and the factors affecting the formation of soil. So let's get started. The first, let us know the definition of soil. What is soil? Thin layer of grainy substance covering the surface of the earth is known as soil. So what is soil? The thin layer of a grainy substance, granular substances, which cover the surface of the earth is known as soil. We can also say soil as a biologically active porous medium which is developed in the uppermost layer of the earth's crust. Soil is made up of organic matter, minerals and weathered rocks. The type of soil will be determined by the landform. So on the basis of landform, we can have an idea that what type of soil that landform may have. So type of soil will be determined by the landform. Soil is a principal substrata of life on earth. Why? Because it provides the structural source of water and nutrients which are utilized by the plants and we can utilize the plants for our own need, right? So, soil is referred as a principal substrate of life on earth. Now, when we can say a soil is fertile? When it will have a right mixture of minerals and organic matter, then we can say that the soil is fertile. What is the process by which the soil is formed? Soil is formed by the process of weathering. Now what is weathering? The breaking up and decay of exposed rocks by temperature change, frost action, plants, animals and human activity is referred as weathering. Now let us see that how the rocks get broken down due to weathering. This is my chunk of rock or we can also say it as parent rock or the main rock what happens during the daytime due to the rays of the sun the rock expands and during the night it contracts due to expansion and contraction we will notice a crack in the rocks. Now this crack get filled up with water when it rains heavily and this rain water get freezed or we can say get turned into frost. So at, as it freezed it causes expansion of the rock and due to the expansion the rock this larger piece of rock get 
broken into smaller pieces and in a constant weathering it get broken into more smaller pieces sometimes there are some plants like mosses and lichens which do not need soil to grow they can grow on the rock surface so as they grow on the rock surface and they start growing so their roots cause expansion and it leads to breaking of the rock and thus the rock get broken down into smaller chunks sometimes due to the flowing of the river as the river moves down it carries larger and smaller rocks larger rocks are getting heated with each other and due to this course it broke into smaller pieces and then they are transported by the agents of erosion that is water wind and glacier and thus with the process of weathering it can be mechanical biological and it can be physical so on the basis of mechanical weathering physical weathering and some biological activity uh, we can say that the soil are formed soil is a renewable resource yes it may take 100 years to form just 1 cm of soil but it get renewed so it may take long years but it can be renewed so we call soil as a renewable resource now let us understand the layers of soil now let us understand what is soil profile so what is soil profile you can see here the diagram of the soil profile this is a layered structure which spreads from the parent rock to the top soil so this is referred as a soil profile let us understand the soil profile now the first layer is the top soil this is the top soil that means the layer where vegetation grows and this is the layer which has humus content that means the most we can say the layer which has humus in it and where the vegetation can grow the second layer is the subsoil so this is the subsoil with sand silt and clay if you are going to dug out the soil that means we are the, we are actually removing the top soil and we are dugging out and we are going to the subsoil right next one the third layer is a layer of weathered rock here what happens the parent rock get broken down into smaller pieces of rock due to the process of weathering so this is a layer of weathered rock and the fourth layer is the parent rock which is a main rock which is broken into smaller pieces or we can say the main rock from which the soil is formed so parent rock is a layer or we can say the rock from which the soil is formed this parent rock get broken down into smaller pieces of rock due to the process of weathering now the third one is the subsoil with sand silt and clay so the weather rock get broken down into more smaller pieces and they form the subsoil and top soil is the layer in which the vegetation grows and this is the layer with humus right so this is the layer structure of soil that is referred as the soil profile so now let us understand what are the factors on which the formation of soil depends or which affect the formation of soil now let us understand the 
factors that affect the formation of soil. The first factor that affect the formation of soil is parent rock. On the basis of parent rock, it depends or we can say it determines the color of the soil, its texture, mineral composition, permeability and how much will be its water retention capacity all will depend on the parent rock color texture mineral composition permeability all will depend on parent rock climate is a second factor that affect the formation of soil climate includes temperature rainfall it will determine the rate of weathering and formation of humus. So temperature and rainfall which is included in climate determine the rate of weathering and formation of humus. The third factor is relief. What will relief determine? Relief means topography. On the basis of topography, it will determine the accumulation of soil. So relief or topography will determine the accumulation of soil. The fourth factor is time. Time will determine the thickness of soil profile. We already know that just to form one centimeter of soil, it takes 100 years. So time is a very important factor. We determine the thickness of soil profile. The last factor that affects the formation of soil is organisms, which includes flora, that means plant, fauna, that means animals and microorganisms. They will affect the humus formation. Now what is humus? What is humus? We're talking about humus. What is humus? Humus is the dead remains of plants and animals. We also call them as the organic matter. So as I said, our soil is fertile when, we, when it has the right composition, a right mixture of organic matter and mineral. So when it has more humus content, the soil will be more fertile. So flora, fauna, microorganisms will affect the humus formation. So what are the factors that affect the formation of soil? Number one is parent rock, which determines the color, texture, mineral composition and permeability of soil. Climate, which determines the rate of weathering and formation of humus. Relief, which determines the accumulation of soil. Time, which determines the thickness of soil profile. And organism, which affect the humus formation. I hope all of you understood whatever we have discussed today in this video. So what we learned, we learned about soil as a resource, the definition of soil. The factors which are leading to formation of soil. The process of weathering and the layers of soil. I hope all of you understood it very well. You will follow the PDF that is provided in the description box and also you will go through the NCRT. Don't forget to follow the NCRT also. I hope all of you will get benefited from the video. If you like my content, don't forget to hit the like button 
and do comment for suggestion. Do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for further notifications of the upcoming videos. Very soon I will come with a new video on the new topic that is soil erosion and the ways to conserve soil. So be ready for the new video and don't forget to subscribe. Until then, I'm signing off. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay at home. Thank you.